Hey, good morning. Hey, Treetop. Good morning, Fox. How are we? Uh, morning came quick. We're we're a little groggy this morning. <laughs> it came real yeah, quick. I, I got off the bus a little early last night, but we were sure having fun. Right. That was that was a blast. I, and and by the way, I just got to say real quick, I found out the hard way when the three ten runs out of fuel. It's not pretty, because <laughs> one in, one engine quits before the other one. Ooh! So I'm I'm on short final, and all of a sudden it's like, what the heck? I'm having a hard time, and uh, so I'm fidgeting with that, and and uh, next thing you know, I forgot to put my gear down, and it was mistakes were made. <laughs> mistakes were made, huh? Yes. But it's sure fun. One engine dying before the other. Yeah, that's that's not that's not a good recipe. No, not on a short final. It's like what the heck is but this? What is a good <laughs> recipe is some hot coffee in your cup. Yes. Cheers. Let's see here. Cheers. Cheer oh, I don't have my uh, camera on. Hang on. One second here. Let's do that again. <laughs> Arch. And yeah, DH Paradox is in chat. And uh, uh, Paradox, thank you for uh, the comments on the slideshow, on the intro. Much appreciated. There we go. And oh, there he is. There we go. There we go. And let's do automatic that lights, there. remote control, bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Get them both on. There we go. And uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Cheers, Cheerio, my friend. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> and our matching Saturday yeah. morning coffee cups. Yeah, our Saturday morning coffee cups become a tradition. Well, did you? Uh, how how long did you guys go last night then? Well, actually, I didn't go too much. I don't think too much longer. Um, but then I went down and visited my friend down the street because he had his fire pit going, and you know that ended that turned into a, a late night. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I'm glad I wasn't awake when you did that, because I probably would have went with you. Ooh, skin flits. <laughs> skin flits, great idea. Coffee with some Baileys. Nice. What did I, I missed that one, Skin. Good morning, by the way. Morning, Copper Hat. Good morning, Skin Flints. And Paradox loves a good fire pit. Yeah, as do I. Yes, yes, indeed. And then just for clarification also, because uh, uh, Papa Misha was with us last night, so we are going to test his racetrack tonight then. Is correct. that correct? Around 7, okay. yeah. Around 7 p.m. Okay, wonderful. I'm looking it, forward to that. And, uh, yeah, so we'll be on the uh, the off-stream uh, Discord channel tonight, and we'll. I got his uh, scenery loaded up, so, yeah, we'll... Uh, he's been uh, hard at work uh, making his own little... Uh, area in the sim and uh, he's been working on racetracks as well to do some racing so yeah it'll be fun to check that out uh, that will and is that in flight sim to i need to download that today no uh there was a link that he shared oh, with us it, oh okay it's in my discord and your discord i'm sure yeah yeah okay all right i'll get that loaded today too and then uh just doing br last night for a little while that 310 is a lot of fun in br because they're, you know, they're all, try that too and then i apologize you came all the way back to get me and then i zoomed off <laughs> <laughs> i just thought uh you were coming back to get me we're zooming for anyways it was all good we had a good time yes yeah it was funny hey <laughs> i came all that way yeah <laughs> and i'm out of there like a rubber band <laughs> boing <laughs> yeah, it was funny oh uh, 
That was good. It was fun last night. A lot, quite a few people on Splasher stream last night too. Yeah, it was a great turnout, right? Yep. Yeah, let me. Yeah. Uh, I should do it before we get going here. Let me do a, a quick shout out here for uh, for Splasher and Paradox. And Skin Flints, uh, while he's doing that, uh, you have to join us here on Saturday, unless you're at work. We'd love to have you. I still need a lot of training, so uh, uh, you've always been able to provide that. Me. So it would be hmm. fun to have you along with us. I just send in the screenshot I'm section of the picture that I got when oh, uh, I'll wait for this to finish. flying with you a couple days ago. Cool. Here we go. I'm in the Wilga um, this morning. Let's see here. Here she is. In the Wilga. Hey, Sergeant Staff. <laughs> I'm working. LOL. I'm working. Good morning, Sergeant Staff. Darn. I'm going to give a shout out to Sergeant Staff here. Lift slow, turn to the roof. Hey, uh, right out that side. Look ahead of you. I'm coming for you. That's fine. In it. In it. Well, hopefully, hopefully, Skin, you can at least follow along. This is a fun river, and uh, we were having fun with it last week, and yep. and uh, follow along. Lots of bridges, and yeah, over here in the New Zealand. So, yeah, lots of fun. And then I took off live weather flocks because we weren't going to be able to see anything. Yeah, isn't this something? I, I, I'm thinking of doing the same thing. Let me, let me put on a few clouds here. Yeah, it's like you get there and it's rain, and then I'm, I'm wondering... With all that weather and low visibility, I wonder if I'm, am I even on a runway? Right? Oh yeah, that will go, that does, I gotta get that. That looks stunning. <laughs> yeah, she's a, she's a, a unique bird, man. She has a purpose. You yeah, know, it's she like does. designed for utility or something. Yeah, that's uh, super cool. Oh, you're welcome, uh, Paradox. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so Sergeant Staff, we're down here in New Zealand. Uh, gonna do some uh, low, low level flying along the Wakato River, uh, which we discovered on. We were doing another uh, flight down uh, New Zealand from the North Island to the South Island that was suggested by Iceberg for All. And um, as we're flying along, uh, Treetop observed this river. And then, like thirty minutes later, as we're flying south, you know, it, it was it came it was there again, and we looked on the map, and it was the same river. And Treetop was like, "Wouldn't this be a great, you know, flight this river?" And so we decided to make it uh, our Saturday morning uh, theme here. So we kicked it off last Saturday morning, and I think we'll be able to finish the river this morning. And it's sure, sure, fun. Lots of great scenery, uh, and. Uh... Yeah, just a great adventure element and lots to look at. So, um, paradox. Would, would I say the Wilga and the Kit Fox have similar performance? I think the Kit Fox it, it has more power and more lift um, and uh, uh, stall capability. The Wilga has has that as well, um, but I think I think the Kit Fox can get you in and out of trouble a little bit easier than than the the Wilga. And the Wilga, um, uh, you know, she doesn't like turn on a dime, if you will, right? She'll 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 kind of kind of swing into the turns a little bit and stuff. Whereas, I think the Kit Fox is a little bit more maneuverable. Okay, you sure a pretty looking bird, that's for sure. All right, let's take a look at where we're going. Let's see here, let's bring up the little nav map. And looks like I need to turn, get it centered on our position here. One second. That's the the Wakato River. And why is it not centering on us?
Okay, so this is where we're at. Over here at uh, where where Papa South Airport. I know where Papa is. Where Papa rather be flying apparently. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we're over here. We let me zoom out a little bit. So this is the North Island here in New Zealand. You see the North Island. And this was our long haul flight where we took off from Auckland and then uh, flew down to Wellington down here. And that was a great flight. We finished that up last Wednesday. And then we discovered this river. And this river, there's a, where it meets the ocean right here. We've been we've been we followed it last Saturday morning and made it about halfway, and then uh, it looks like this is the start here at Lake uh, Lake Topo, and uh, this is where the river starts. But this is where our journey will end, at uh, what is that Lake Topo 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 Airport there. So that's the plan is to follow this river, and you can see how it winds in and out. And this was pretty cool because when we came through this city, up here, I guess that's Hamilton. It kind of reminded me like Portland, where you have like you know five or six different bridges. Uh, there was a, you know a bunch of bridges and stuff uh, going through there that we were able to fly under and stuff. That was fun. Yeah, it was. We had a blast doing that. Successful at uh, some, and not at others. Right. I gotta say. <laughs> okay, let's get inside this bird. Let's see. Parking brakes off, mixtures forward. Good, good, good. Okay. Loaded that nav map. Flight plan. Nice to be able to see that. And it looks like uh, we're going to be uh, heading out on runway heading until we meet up with the river, so that's cool. All right, let's do this. Okay. Hopefully, we get a few more joining us this morning. Yeah. Picking the tires and lighting the fire. Here we go. See, uh, Mike Patey used a wilgo, I believe, to build that crazy bush plane Drake, Draco. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it was built on uh, uh, a wilgo platform. But now that you mention it, I'm looking over at the wilgo off to my left over here. It, it has that very thin uh, tail and stuff that, that uh, Draco has. I was watching a YouTube video on it last night. And I didn't realize that it was on the same, same frame. It's cool. All right, here we go. Copper Hat's with us. Nice. Welcome in, Copper Hat. Hey, good morning, Copper Hat. I was hoping you'd join us this morning. Flaps up. these little rolling hills and stuff out in front of us isn't that something beautiful and a few rocks here and there on the side of those hills rock bluffs kind of cool if you're uh sh are you sharing your discord uh, if oh if, if so I'll, i get that set up i can get that set up yep let me get that going here And there's the river ahead of us, right where it's supposed to be. Hey, there we should have it. Yeah, I'll get that set up here. Oh, I'm way too high than I want to be.
Okay, let's give that a test and see if it works. I'm not picking it up for some reason. I'll get it though. That it was broadcasting. No, it, it is broadcasting. I'm 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 okay. picking it up in Discord. I'm not uh but my uh OBS is not uh seeing seeing the window. I just need to I gotcha. sort that out here. Let's see. So let me minimize this, go here, go there, see if that picks it up. Where is it? My view down there is kind of messed up. Let's see. We top, Discord. Companies. Let's start doing that again. Now it's working. Let's say okay. There we go. And then I gotta fix my window oh, here. Perfect. Oh man, I'm messing up here. Come on. Well, my camera's coming through pretty good, it looks like. Where's my... There we go. Sure, how that got messed up, but okay. Oh, now that has to go under yours. Oh, and Paradox, if you're asking which server, I think it's uh, West USA. Hmm. See what it looks like here from Chase Mode. There we are, cruising along. Oh, what fun is this! Right? Man. And there's your screen going. Cool. You're kind of flying all over the place while I'm getting your, getting your stuff lined up there. There we go. All right, let me drop in here. All right, uh, Tree or Copperhead, if you guys happen to, to see like a little landing challenge or something, don't, don't hesitate to to call it out or land on it, let us know in chat, Copper Hat. Yeah, West USA. And that's the thing, I guess kind of have to mix it up a little bit this morning like we did last week. Uh, it's sure fun to fly low altitude, but then you miss some of the landing challenges too, so kind of do a little bit of low flying and gain some altitude and have a little different perspective. Yeah, and have a little look around, I'm yeah. Yeah. What opportunities there might be. Cool little spot right in here where the the, the 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 banks of the river or you know kind of tall hills. Wouldn't yeah. call those. I wouldn't call those mountains. No.
and uh, it's a new screen overlay for uh, Treetop Flyer we developed uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that is super flux. That's yeah, fun, right? Yeah, that is super. Looks uh, in the trees, the perfect tree fort with Voyager's name on the front there, which is fun. And uh, yeah, what's not to like about that? Treetop flyer right at the treetops. <laughs> and uh, we got a lookout posted up there for any incoming. There you go. <laughs> oh, look at you guys down there. There's a super perspective. Oh, that's cool. I'm kind of eyeballing that over there, that little flat spot, middle of those trees. It, yeah, it looks like they went in there with like tractors and stuff and cleared that out. We better check it out here. Roger that. Okay. I know. Right. I know. It's Copper hat right, right on our six. I think is that is the area he wants to go check out. So let's see what he does here. Introduce some flaps. Yeah. Oh, he's going for it. He's going in. That second piece there, not the first one. I could. Well, what do you get an uh, an award for being the first rip? <laughs> yeah. There's not as much room as I thought. Oh, you got it, though. Nice. Yeah. Got her set. Okay, here we go. I need to raise up just a little bit in the cockpit here. Something like that. Looks a little better. I got to take a look here. All right, wish me luck here. Oh, Whoa. looking super. Oh, a little bit of a hard hit, I think. Yeah, nice little spot here, tree. Yeah, kind of cool. Oh, pardon me, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. I think Copper Hat landed over on the other side over there. Oh, he must land that first field. That's yeah. good. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. I didn't say which one. So, uh, nothing wrong with that at all. But it looks like you made it over there, okay? Yep. Okay, I'll follow you out. Okay. Looks like we got plenty of room there. I'll grab a sip of my coffee here while we're on the ground. Ah. Okay, let's see. We'll give it one notch of flaps for takeoff. Everything's good. Here we go. And we'll pop the flaps, get a little lift up over those trees. Here we go. Plenty of room. Oh, I got to clear the ripboard. Oh, yeah, nobody's ripped yet. Still a lot of miles to go, though. Sideways Kitso, thanks for the follow. Welcome to Flockstrot's hangar. I'm Flockstrot, and right above me is my in real life next door neighbor, good friend, and co host, Treetop Flare.
Yeah, Treetop's a great neighbor, man. If I got a fire pit in the driveway, he sees it from his kitchen window and he'll come over. If I forget to bring my trash cans out, he'll grab a trash can or or he'll he'll put it back in my driveway for me, get it off the street. Yeah, Flux Flux does the same thing. Yep. Does the same thing. And I'm yeah, Flux he, what he feels to mention I'm kinda like a freeloader. He starts that <laughs> driveway up. The fire pit in the driveway, and next thing you know I'm over there. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have a lot of fun. We built a little patio uh, uh, deck uh, out of pavers on our in our back area, and uh, and then I uh, replaced the fence and put a put a made, made reinforced the, the the gate and stuff. And uh, Treetop came over when we're my wife and I were back there one day, and so I was like, ah, oh, oh, I see you. I see you repaired your gate, and and uh, you're over here on the patio, but uh, you know. Can't, you can't keep me out. <laughs> I, I think I said it's not dug proof. Not yeah yeah yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, good stuff. Oh, thank you, uh, Sideways uh, Schizo. Love the low and slow. He says nice. Yep, and we dabble on that back and forth a little bit. And he says bunch of good lads. Appreciate that. Uh, where are you from? Uh, we're in the uh, Scapoose. Oregon area, so St. Helens, Scapoose area, and Scapoose, uh, KSPB is our kind of like our home airport here in real life, if you will. Uh, neither one of us are pilots, but we you know we always aspire to be, and uh, uh, this uh, is filling the void. My dad was a pilot, and uh, uh, the the stream is kind of uh, pay, pays homage, if you will, to my dad's plane, One Eight Romeo which you can see his livery that he did. He painted it um, in real life. It was a Piper Cherokee uh, 140, 1966. And uh, yeah, he uh, got first place in a, at an air show uh, when he entered it in an air show one time on a whim. But anyways, lots of fun uh, in real life flying with my dad and stuff. And then uh, uh, lots of fun uh, flying here with you all and uh, with Treetop. Yeah, sure fun. And Tree is a pilot of a wicked scooter, as uh, Skimplint says there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Love to, I got a scooter I love to ride, too. When the weather uh, allows us. My fair weather, in some respects. Wow, a lot of dams, I noticed. Here, the second one this morning. Oh, wow, I missed it. And yes, Sergeant Staff, Flux and I talk a lot. Uh, during the winter time, it's mostly flight sim because we're in our houses. But in the summertime, we're out, out and about doing stuff. Uh, oh, and uh, Sideways there is from Australia. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Cool. You fly, you fly so Sydney Gaming on YouTube and Facebook, and you're just discovering Twitch. Oh, yeah. awesome. My uh, my boys actually turned uh, me on to Twitch, and Treetop and I, when the sim came out, we were, uh, you know, we'd you know take off at our local airport and fly out to uh, Astoria by the beach and stuff like that, and we we were you know talking to each other on our phones, you know, and call each other up and stuff, and then one of my boys says, "You guys ever you never heard of Discord, Dad? I'm like dis dis what?" And uh, <laughs> yeah. my oldest son uh, mentioned Twitch, and w that's how the stream actually started. Was um, Treetop and I were, you know, getting together on our phones, you know, on a fairly regular basis, a couple times a week, and uh, you know, discovered Discord, and we just had a voice channel that we could talk on and stuff, and that was great. And then the Discord channel, you know, grew a little bit. And it's like, hey, you know what, Tree? We're going to be doing this anyway. Why not stream it and, you know, multiplayer and get other people involved and bada bing, bada boom. And it's it's been a blast. I remember telling my kids, you know, hey, what are you guys doing on this Twitch thing? You know, you shouldn't be interacting with, you know, people you don't know and all that stuff, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's been it's been a good experience. Yeah, it sure has. 
Oh, met, yes. met a lot of great people on on Twitch and Discord. Let's see. Uh, Sergeant Staff says his closest neighbor is a quarter mile away. Oh wow! Geez, I, it would be a little different dynamic. Had to send up smoke, smoke signals or something like that to get each other's attention. Yeah, Fox and I, we could put a couple of tin cans and a string between our houses, <laughs> be able to talk. Right. Oh, Paradox is with us. He's in the kit box. Nice. Are you, uh, you want us to circle around a couple of times while you catch up, Paradox? Let's see if we can land on top of this uh, this hill over here. On top of what? This little this hill off my nose here. Oh, okay. All right. Let's we'll see if there's a opportunity to land up there or not. Oh, uh, sideways schizo says Facebook hasn't been kind to to, to those streamers. The streamers and everyone's moving off of it and we're doing it right well thank you man send it yeah there you go here we go yeah there's some trees on top of that hill on that side. Oh, you're looking at the one that's round on top. Yeah. Uh, I was looking more like this one that has a flat spot. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I think we can make it up here. I'm going in. Yeah. How bad can it be? Famous last words. There's a little road up here. Oh, really? Yeah. Come on now. This could be ugly. It's going to get crowded. Uh, oh, I, I landed on the wrong one. Then, different than you. I'm just down below you. Oh! All right. <laughs> oh gosh. Here we go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect way to start out the morning. Here comes Copper Hat. Well played. Well played, Copper Hat. Nice job. Nice job. Oh, Sergeant Staff is in here, too. Nice. I'm just going to leave my plane upside down, I think, for now. And i got to fill up, put my put my name on the, on the Rip Club here. I moved the rip club. The rip club is now across the bottom of the, the, the hangar up there at the in the header. Okay, looks like Sergeant Staff is coming in. I'm just Hurt. down below you guys. <clears throat> <laughs> Bend it. Bend it. That's funny. Ooh, Sergeant Staff is there. It like, uh, looks like a terrain spike or anomaly there for a second. They made it. Nice job, right at the top. Nice job. That's what I was trying to do, Sergeant Staff. Paradox is catching up. Okay, yeah, let me... I played, it, played it safe down below you guys. I'm just looking up the hill. I can see you. Let's see where you're at here.
Oh yeah, there you are down there. <laughs> Sergeant Staff, I didn't even slice up the other guy. <laughs> yeah, nice job. Let's see how far out uh, Paradox is. He's still a little ways out there. Catching up. Are you about two or three miles out, Paradox? Yeah, his name tag's moving. Getting pretty close. We'll hang out here for him. Get all caught up. Yep. Uh, copper Hat, Sergeant Staff. This Copper Hat. That's okay, sideways. We'll take you any time, so maybe another time. Uh, sideways schizo. Sideways schizo got a little sideways, it looks like. He, he, jo <laughs> he, he joined us, but it's 1.45 a.m., and uh, he had a few uh, few whiskeys there. Uh, yeah. That's all right. You're just being safe. One of our friends, uh, Raleigh Mall, is uh, down in Australia. Uh, has a stream where he um, his his uh, subject matter is kind of like the the vintage flyers uh, from from uh, Australia. Um, so let me uh, give him a shout out, just in case uh, you haven't seen his channel or anything. You'd like to check him out. Let's see. There we go. Looks like Paradox is yeah, he's going over the top of us. Yeah, that. Cool. Yeah, beautiful. Well, I'm going to take off then. I think I can just go right down this hill here. <laughs> okay. Par Paradox had a little bit too much energy. Uh, Paradox, are you going to try again or shall we head out? Looks like we're heading out. We got birds in the air. Ooh, right at touchdown. Wow. All right, here we go. Let me flip my bird around. Here we go. Nice. Alright, let's go find that river. kind of cool yeah hey welcome in David welcome to Flock Strots Hangar uh, I'm your host here and right above me is Treetop Flyer my in real life next door neighbor good friend and, and co-host top of the morning how close to the ground I can get here without crashing. Hey everybody, you know, feel free to join the Rip Club. Uh, the water's fine. I, I tested it for you. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> still a lot of miles to go, so I got lots of opportunity to do that. This is what I wanted to see the drop off. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's awesome.
There's treetop liars view there. Heading up the river here. Yeah, a little close. Yeah, we're doing some uh, some bush flying this morning along this river. Again, Sergeant Staff, Paradox, Copper Hat, Tree, if you guys see, you know, a landing challenge or something, call it out. Looks like I'm coming right up behind you, Flox. Oh, nice. Pass you on your left wing. Looking good. Look at that. Here you are, right over there. Nice. I got my Kazi. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Oops. Looks like we're getting into the mountains a little bit. Right? Dang. Yeah, Paradox, it really is. Um, and for those that are just joining, this is a, uh, we're in uh, New Zealand on the South Island. Uh, following the the Waikato River uh, to its source, which is a huge uh, lake that almost looks like a, a crater or something from a volcano. Oh yeah, there's tree top right in front of me. Oh, he thought we were in Brazil. Okay, Dave. Let's see how this thing will climb. See if I can climb up over this thing here. All right, here we go. Over the top of that hill? Yeah, full throttle. I'm just going to climb up the side of it and see if I can make it. Oh, well, you got some airspeed working. Oh, look at that. Just like a tractor. Whoa. Dang, that's almost like a warthog. Right? Is that a bridge? Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Or a dam. Alert. Oh, that's a dam. Go... It's a dam. <laughs> I better not go uh, under I better not go under that one. No, there's a bridge too. Is there? Yeah. It's right after the hill. Not that yeah, the dam's in front of the bridge. Okay, let me uh I'm gonna I'm gonna look for that bridge. Let's go for it. Go under the see if we can go under the bridge. There's a big old highway there. Looks like Copper has the first one down the slot there. Looks like lots of room. Uh nice job, Copper Hat. Pardon me, excuse me. Still lots of time <laughs> in that rip club. Hey, Sergeant Staff. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, Sergeant Staff, I don't think you made it. Hit a tree. Sergeant Staff is joining me in the rip club. Here we go. Oh, man, that bridge is hard to find. Dang, man. Ooh. Got it. Tree made oh boy, it. There's, there, yeah, there's not a lot of... You can't see it till you're right on top of it. But yeah, the dam is definitely... Here's the third dam we've seen this morning. Oh, Copper Hat landed on the dam. Oh, did he? Okay, let's yeah. do, we'll do that. Um, it is a public server, uh, David... 
um, in the sim. Um, it's it's multiplayer, so everybody in the world can uh, can join in here. And let me get uh, Sergeant Staff added to the Rip Club. <clears throat> Now I'm not alone. Like I said, there's plenty of opportunity here for all of us to be in the root club. Oh, I'm way fast. Way too <laughs> fast. Okay, let me see where you guys are at here. Over here by Copper Hat. Came in way too fast. Pardon me, excuse me. Looks like Paradox might be lining up there. Oh my goodness! Splasher! Hey, Splasher! Good morning. Good morning! Good morning! So, uh, for those that don't know, uh, uh, Splasher 6 is kind of like our Doc Severinsen uh, to uh, Johnny Carson and, uh, oh, what's his name? Ed McMahon. Ed McMahon, sorry, Tree. <laughs> um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so welcome in. And, uh, yeah, it's two years, Splasher. Thank you for the, the support. You're graciously That's awesome. welcome. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. I didn't want to intrude unless it was a special occasion like this. So. No, that is special. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Two years. Awesome. So Boy, hopefully... That, how the time flies. No doubt. Hopefully this is not the beginning of the terrible twos. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> no, that's great, man. Thank you. Thank you. I want my whoopee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we got anybody else coming in here. There's Sergeant Staff up there. Let me uh, pour myself some coffee over here while we're on the ground. Yeah, that was a lot of fun last night, Splasher. We were talking about uh, last night at the beginning of the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. But, but Splasher, I'm part of the Rip Club. I have to confess that 310 oh, when it yeah. run, when it runs out of fuel it's no. not pretty especially on a short <laughs> final because it like the Clyde oh man this well the starboard engine quit first uh oh so the so the Porter left engine was running full blast and all of a sudden I'm just like all the way all this power on the left side and I'm nosing over and it's like mm -hmm. what is all this and then in the heat of battle of course I forgot to put the gear down so it was, yeah, it was ugly. Uh, per I'm saying, I'm oh, saying for that when a, when an engine goes out, it's like you're supposed to hit opposite rudder. Uh, I'm probably gonna get this wrong, but it's like step on the, I think it's something like step on the dead engine. Oh wow! Oh yeah, that makes um, sense. So, so let me think about it. If your right engine goes out, you're gonna want to yaw to the right. So you're gonna want to counter it with right. You'd step on the rudder uh, closest to the engine that's still running, correct? Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. To counter that makes it. Makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, anyway, it was a Par fun Par flight. Paradox has to go. I just want to say goodbye, Paradox, and thanks for a joining us in chat and joining us in the sim this morning. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks, Paradox. Okay, let's see here. I get spun, spun around. Now we <laughs> Sergeant, Sergeant Staff says this landing that we did is is probably illegal. Well, we got to get out of here before they catch us. Right? Okay. I'm right behind you, Tree. Go for it. Here we go. To the top of that tower. Uh, 
And I, I love that intro uh, that we have. Uh, it's Splasher. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's yeah, the FA show. Yeah. That's perfect. Rip again. You fell, you, fell, you fell off the dam. Okay, let's do a little circuit here. Uh, that All way right. uh, Sergeant Staff can get off the ground. Okay. Uh, that was a good call there, uh, Popper Hat, landing, landing on the dam that way. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, he has crash detection on, so uh, he's got to get re respawned in or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do a circuit or two here. Yeah, let's give uh, Splasher 6 a, uh, a shout-out while we're waiting here. Thank you kindly. You bet. Let's see here. Here we go. Like, look over your left, over your shoulder, and see. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, I gotta figure out how to do this. Uh. Yeah, you're in the. Looks like the NX Cup on that one there. On that shout out. Oh, yeah, probably on the, um, oh, the Pan American Highway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was a good one. Yeah. Okay, Sergeant Staff is airborne. All right. Away we go. Okay. <laughs> it's funny. Splasher comes in to say hi, and then I I I I got an overlay ready for him. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, I think I got to bed like at one thirty or so last night. Is when I came home last night. Oh boy, is this another dam? I uh, don't know. We'll find out here in a second. <clears throat> I think I made it by 1030. Uh, it kind of looks like it. Yeah, it's another dam. Is that three or four? I think it's like four. Four. Four dams. Wow. Well, we know where this continent gets its power from. Right? Yeah, it looks like it's hydro, too. Yeah. Cool. Oh, Sergeant Staff was uh, talking with uh, with Seppi uh, uh, last night. Ah, cool. Morning, Staff. Copper hat's on my six, looking good. Sergeant Staff's on my six as well. It looks like we're all enjoying the Wilga. So, Copper, yeah. Copper Hat, how do you like the Wilga? I don't think you had the Wilga last time, Copper Hat, but I might be mistaken. Maybe you did. But I know that you like the uh, the bush flying and stuff. How do you like the, the Wilga? And same question for you, Sergeant Staff. Are you enjoying it? Oh, Sergeant Staff likes the uh, float, oh. the float variant. Cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, no pressure at Treetop Flyers Port. Oh, Sergeant Staff might miss uh, your stream there today, Splasher. He's got some oh. in real life stuff to do. He says today. No worries. 
that darn in real life. I know. It's in the way all the time. <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't they know we have flying to do? Got on on air flights to do. Some of you guys, Raleigh and Reasons and Angry and yeah, and great job like uh, talk, talking to about you know on air last night and kind of like you know showing oh, the screens and you know yeah how, how it works and everything you know so people can get exposed to it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That that was fun to follow along, see that. Not for everybody, but uh, for those maybe interested in it. Yep. I would love to do it. I just. Well, it's time consuming. Time consuming yeah, and really and. Is. Yeah. I don't get on the sim as many times during the week as I would like. Me either. I'm going to have to miss Monday and Tuesday night this week again. So, no long way down again. <laughs> and that's because you're on the road with work? Yeah, I'll be overnight a couple nights. Yep. Yep. Uh, Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby just uh, picked up the Wilga last weekend. Love it. Such a joy to fly. Ah, you're in good company, Ricky Bobby. Yeah, we like it too. Oh, a kid's birthday Sergeant Staff has to go to. Ah. Well, that's important. Oh, that's an... That. I'm sorry about... I, I caught the end of that yesterday, Sergeant Staff, and the sim wasn't cooperating. And, like, you know, and you called it, Sergeant Staff. I remember you mentioned, uh, you know what? This My sim acts up like this whenever... There's a new release about to be released, you know. Boy, off in the distance, it looks like uh, a cooling tower for a nuke. Nuke tower plant. Can't quite tell. I, I'd be on, and, and for cooling to be on the river. So we may be flying past the nuke here. What does the fox say? The secret. Nice. Iceberg for all. Welcome in. Sorry, Sergeant Staff. I, I uh, stopped talking for the, the music that Iceberg had played. What does the flocks say? Welcome in, Iceberg. Good to see you. We're, we're in Iceberg for all's neck of the woods. Uh, he's the one that suggested this, uh, this uh, the flight across... Uh, New Zealand here, where we discovered this river that we're flying down today. <laughs> and uh, Sergeant Staff, uh, yeah, you had called it where, uh, you know, your sim acts up and crashes and stuff. And I think uh, they confirmed for you. Somebody in chat says, yeah, there is an update coming. Um, so that's unfortunate that that happens. But we're here for you, man. Yeah, Angry did, yep. We're doing good, Iceberg. Welcome in. Hey, Tree, you want to go check out that, that structure over there and see what it is? The tower? Yeah, whatever that is over there, right? I think we're going to come right up on it. Oh, okay. I think that I, if it's a nuclear power plant... Uh, well, that makes I sense. I could be wrong, yeah, but it'd have to have cooling, so it'd be right on a river. So I think this river wraps around it. So yeah, we're, I'm getting closer here. So uh, Sergeant Staff says about his stream and how it crashed and stuff. He says, because uh, Sergeant Staff, uh, his his theme of streams here lately has been um, kind of discovering shipwrecks um, on the, the Great Lakes. And... Uh, Retracing their their final uh, you know their their, their voyage um, and then uh, finding the location where the shipwreck went down and then he's got some great history that he shares um, and sometimes photos of the shipwreck under the water videos from divers that have gone down there and checked it out as well as some photos maybe from the 1800s and stuff of of the sh of the ship when it was still afloat. Um, and then uh, he says, meh, 
when your stream is about a disaster, ends in disaster. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Yeah, we're getting closer to that guy. All right, let me see where it's at over here. Oh, yeah, there it is over there to the right. And it hey, looks guys, like no, no trying to land on the tower. Oh, that could be that could be fun. Yeah. Oh boy, this river goes all over the place prior to the tower. Man, all kinds of switchbacks. Holy cow. Need an ultralight to do those. We don't have any wind. Doesn't look like in live weather. Oh, I don't have what live weather. I got a few clouds on this right. Yeah. We don't have any, uh, doesn't look like I have much wind to help with landing on top of that thing. All right, let's go see what that thing's all about. I can't think of what else it would be. Why else would you have a big old structure out in the middle of nowhere? You guys think it's landable? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's got a, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's a big a grid there. Yeah, it's a nuke. That's a cooling tower. There's a big electrical grid right there. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's kind of like a, yeah, I can't land on that. It's like a, Healy pad. Yeah. It's not fl just flat on the top. We had one of those close to where Flux and I live, but they they uh, actually imploded it. They took the reactor away. Uh -huh. We used to get a part of our power from a nuke plant, but there were too many, too much political opposition the, the other way. And, uh, so PGE decided to take it down. But I, re I do remember that. It was a big deal. I was on the news and everything uh, when that thing imploded. Quite a dust cloud. Huge structure. Sergeant Staff says there's evaporative cooling towers there as well. Yeah, and I remember that. I'm, uh, I was actually, we, were, we had already moved up here, and, and I remember seeing um uh was it trojan park i think they call it yeah yep and uh I, me I remember seeing the implosion and stuff watching it live and if i remember correctly uh Sp springfield oregon um is probably five four or five hours south of where treetop and i are but uh, that's the uh the town springfield is what uh, the town in Simpsons, the Simpsons, right? Oh. And yeah. It, it kind of the inspiration for it. And then, if I remember correctly, I think I heard that that Trojan Park nuclear power plant is the inspiration for the nuclear power plant that's in Springfield in the Simpsons where uh, Homer works. Oh, didn't awesome. know that. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I think I heard. I think I remember hearing that. That's pretty cool. Well, we our our county lost a lot of jobs when that uh, when they uh, depowered it or what, whatever you want to call it when I stopped uh, operating it. Yeah, back then my next door neighbors on um, on the opposite side uh, tree, um, the husband and wife they both worked uh, there and yeah they ended up he ended up moving. Yeah, because they're just you know once it's on it when you're done doing the nuclear there's all kinds of regulatory stuff that has to happen and uh, all these different layers of folks that have to be on site so there was plenty of opportunity for careers and employment 
we had one in Iowa that got decommissioned about oh 10 or 15 years ago and they've turned it into a solar farm oh, we oh really wow yeah. all panels solar panels yeah wow yep <clears throat> Oh, I missed uh, Sergeant Staff's other comment. He says he's mentioning that it could be a coal, a coal plant, also, and then that's where he mentions it. That that's they have evaporative cooling towers as well. Maybe that's utilized by coal. Those evaporative cooling towers. Um, Sergeant Staff studied the operation of nuclear power plants. Cool. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Well, the thing that I'm disappointed in is uh, had uh, several opportunities to take a tour of that plant over the years and never somehow made it work. But it would have been a lot of fun to see that close up. Certain stuff is and fascinating. I, oh, yeah. I do remember when they, when they decommissioned it, uh, and they took the reactor out. Um, it, the shape of it, it was, I uh, happened to be on the river. Well, I was on the river with Voyager when they imploded the tower. So it was fun. We, we had it uh, where the stern was aimed towards Trojan. So we watched the implosion of the tower. Oh, wow. And I had the TV running on uh, KGW, a Portland station. So we had it on TV, too. Oh, but our on, on the boat. Um, but I remember <clears throat> then it wasn't, uh, I want to say it was a year later or so, a, a long time they had that reactor on site, just wasn't engaged. And they had the Coast Guard there. When they took that reactor away to Hanford, which is way east up the Columbia River from Portland, and uh, I remember the shape of that thing. It was like a orange reddish and it was shaped like a giant dumbbell oh wow hmm. and of course it was on a big barge and you had coast guard in front of it and behind it and, you know you had to keep your distance and all that stuff and no big wakes and, but it was quite interesting i think that might have been like the containment vessel that they the rods, the, actual... the rods go in? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Iceberg says that we see, we see that nuclear power plant there because uh, 10 million simmers in uh, New Zealand need need power. <laughs> yeah. so that's how I read that anyways. Yeah. Sergeant yeah. Steph says uh, it's fascinating how energy dense, fissionable, how energy dense fissionable, fissionable materials are people knew how much safer it is but but it's feared it's all political yeah, yeah that's what uh, oh, that's yeah. what treetop was mentioning yeah. too yeah it's yeah. just too bad oh what is that it's it's funny on that comment it's just uh it, it's it's just a few people that were out here demonstrating um for multiple nights for a long time drove policy when you know the majority of folks that were the consumers uh, were just fine with it but they weren't out there demonstrating for it so you have enough political backlash from a few people that changes it for everybody I remember, this is funny, my brother, who's the eternal antagonist, I remember uh, growing up in Eugene, and that's kind of the Birkenstock capital of the world, and uh, I guess just to be politically correct, the left side of everything with the U of O, and uh, just, to, I'm not saying that's a bad way of life, but I remember they were having this uh, environmental thing, and that kids were or people were buying t-shirts of what was a well mommy and all this stuff and my brother had a t-shirt made that says what was a nuke mommy and it had a picture of a cooling tower <laughs> <laughs> like what were these what were these oh they're all gone now yeah, they're, all, yeah, gone they're gone. all let's see 
Uh, Operator Ghost, welcome in. He says, hey guys. Welcome in. Sammy Tenji with a follow. Much appreciated. Enjoy your joy ride up there in the top left corner of good old 18 Romeo. It was my dad's in real life uh, airplane. In the sim, it's modeled on a uh, Turbo Aero 3. Um, and I actually got a couple other ones. Got a li my dad's livery on the Turbo Aero 3, the Warrior 2, and uh, the non Turbo Aero 3. Uh, yeah, just, yeah. So, yeah, thanks for the follow and uh, welcome to the hangar. Yeah, Sergeant Staff Steam does drive society. Wherever there's power involved. Wow, this thing comes up to a big old huge lake. Yeah, this is this is uh the end of our journey. Wow. Might have we a got here quick. Yeah, I think we'll we'll have a short stream this morning. I, I thought this thing was gonna be a little further away. But uh yeah. we'll, go, we'll go ahead and call it uh we'll you know we'll find a see if there's an airport around here to land at and stuff and Okay. We're, we're like almost an hour and a half in. Yeah. And we'll, we can start our in real life Saturday. Yeah, that's a good point, Sergeant Staff. And they used to use it to, to power automobiles and stuff like that, if I remember right. Daily steamer. We'll take a flight out around the lake there before we, before we end the stream. We'll check out this lake. Sounds good. Oh yeah, there's marinas there and all kinds of that's that's a huge lake. Wow. So I'm gonna pull up a little nav map so you guys you see this body of water we're flying over right now and how it goes, you know, off in the distance up here, right? And it's, you know, pretty, pretty, you know, pretty big sized area, but check this out. Uh-oh, I'm losing power, hang on. Uh-oh, did I run out of fuel? I just did. <laughs> All right, I'm dead sticking it. Wish me luck. Is there anything oh, here? Oh, you, you got nothing. I got nothing. Put a notch of flaps in. Can I make it anywhere? Street. Oh man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Close to the shore. Yep. Close to the shore and. Oh, there's a yard. Yeah, there's a yard if you can make it. Uh, not, not quite. I hit the water. I think. Oh darn. no. I no, I missed the water. Oh, wow. Oh, you planned that. I think wow. this might be water in real life, though. It looks like there's a dock over here. Yeah. I'm not sure. Or, or that's another airplane. It looks like a wing and a fuselage. There's somebody else that ran out of fuel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful lake. Yeah, I was not paying attention. I, I don't know how to do the fuel management on the on the Wilga yet, so I got to figure that out. Well, we can fly around this lake a ways and then see if there's what airports around here. Let's see. Well, there was one back where we just flew past it. Uh, let me. Look on nav maps here. Okay, so, you know, I, I was commenting on how large this, this body of water is that we're flying over right now. But what I wanted to show everybody is in little nav map, look at... We're just seeing this this little part of it right right in here. Oh and then look how wow. much more Lake oh my God. Lake Topo. Wow. There is out there. 
Yeah, this thing's huge. Yeah, I think our, our best bet is to go back to that airport when we want to turn around. Yeah, we uh, fly around the lake a little bit. Yep. <laughs> it's called Lake Flox Emergency now. We just renamed it. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. Iceberg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's good. And yeah, Iceberg Wonder says where I where landed would be would be water water, but it's not well modeled in the sim. Fun fact: the first White House cars were white rotary steam cars, twenty horsepower and a thousand foot pounds of torque. Oh nice. wow! Huh, interesting. What were you gonna say, Tria? I cut you off. Oh, I just I tried live weather for a second here, and uh, it's not raining. That's the good news. But uh, it's not. Hard to see stuff. Let's take a look here. Got cloud, clouds cover all over the place. I mean, landing would probably be doable with. Oh my God. Nav maps. Oh yeah, not a lot. Well, you got rain where you are. I don't have rain. I'm ahead of you a little bit. Could have rain here in a minute. The water's just streaming off the sides of the the, the canopy there. Man. Uh, it looks like Burt or Mullet Lake uh, in Michigan, Sergeant Staff says. And and Sergeant Staff was wondering if anybody's got a jet boat. And he says he found some boats at, uh, where, wherever he's at flying out. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Yeah, right back over there where we were. Any landing challenges? Boy. Do we have anything... Any clearings or anything? I don't see anything at the moment. No, that was the one thing. And, you know, I'm sure you factored in, Flux. We didn't really, we only had a couple of landings, a couple, three on the way. I think we'd planned on more than that. Yeah, it. we actually got here a lot quicker than I thought we would. I thought we were only like halfway and, you know, it took us a couple hours to get as far as we did last time. Yeah. Well, I was just for the heck of it, I'll land on this peninsula here. All right. Got to be somewhere there you can put it down. So, uh, Splasher, tell us about your, your stream today that you're going to be doing here. I think it's, uh, is it 1 p.m. Pacific, I think, is when it kicks off? Uh, it'll be 1, uh, it'll be 2 o'clock Central, so it's noon. Noon. Pacific, yeah. So, um, my dad was a B-17 pilot in World War II, and I'm flying uh, leg to leg to all of the, um, uh, the locations and bases that he trained at. Uh, for training and then all of the stops he made on the way over uh, flying a, a ferrying a B-17 across on the North Atlantic route to, to England and all the way to his, uh, his stationed air base in England. And today um, uh, in the sequence of events he has just finished uh, combat crew training with his crew in uh, the uh, Pecos Piot Texas area of West Texas and we'll be flying to Kearney, Nebraska where in um, late February of 1944 they departed to ferry a, uh, a brand new B-17 across uh, to England and um, we'll be flying from uh, Pecos, Texas to Kearney, Nebraska cool. in the DC-6 in special livery that I've had, had uh, done for me and um, so everybody join along. Yeah. Bet. Let me uh, throw out another shout out there just in case people are just joining and just hearing that. Bet. Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. Let me do a little plug there. I'm just making up the uh, announcement for uh, uh, Discord at the moment. So <laughs> Coast Guard. Yeah, I had a, uh, 
I had a, a second cousin. 2 p.m. Central. Who was uh, 20, 22 years in the Coast Guard. Must see TV. Papa Mish says, Martin. what, what a nice now. tribute. He's been out. Yes. For, Thank you. Indeed. Thank you, Papa Mish. And good morning, yes. Papa Mish. Welcome in, Papa Mish. Good to see you. Look forward to tonight and looking at that race course. Yeah, it'll be fun. Okay, let's see if I can butter this landing. Looks good so far. Here we go, that wasn't bad. Lots of room here to work with. <laughs> Papa Me says, good morning, my coffee hasn't taken effect yet, so go slow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see here. Drone camera. I, I think what, what, what you mean, Mish, is you need an IB with uh, espresso. That'll get you supercharged. I just missed you, missed you, Copper Hat. Sorry about that. Looking super. Let's nice. see who else is coming in to land here. Sergeant Staff's coming up. Coming up. Okay. And then after this, it'll be actually that'll take us just about where we want to be. Fly back to that airport that we crossed over by by the beginning of the lake. If that works. Yep. And my uh, my wife and uh, um, my middle son, they both enjoy uh, bagels, and there's a bagel shop in in Scapoose. So I'll be able to duck out of here and go get some uh, some bagels and bring those home. And uh, they only cook up so many, and then if they sell out, they sell out. So it, if we get done with the stream a little bit early, that's gonna get me some bagels a little earlier. Darn! Yeah, we better we better go straight to that airport then. <clears throat> we don't want to deprive the deprive the flocks of fresh <laughs> bagels. <laughs> Sergeant Staff is making his way over. Looks like he's about two miles out, maybe. I gotta go quick. Mish priorities, that's right. And then we should be back to the airport in about five, five minutes. Maybe a teeny bit longer. But... Yeah, Mish priorities, <laughs> you're right. Let me see if I can get over there with the, the, the camera. We were the... talking with Papa Mish. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I just... Uh, well, this, this world is so immersive in flight sim, and, you know, from what you're doing, Splasher, this afternoon, and and all the different things that we do in this thing, and uh, it's just such so much fun to share it with other folks. And fly yourself, and uh, yeah, I can't see myself doing anything else for many years to come. Nice landing there, Sergeant Staff. Nice job. Yeah, man, that's how it's done. Okay, back to the airport we go. Nice, Copper Hat. Kind of silhouetted against the lake there. All right, here we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Tree. Watch out for that tree.
Okay, and back we go from whence we came. Uh, Sergeant Staff says, all right, guys, I need to leave and have a great time and catch you all later. Sergeant Staff, thanks for popping into this morning. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the birthday. Yep. Yeah, thanks, Sergeant Staff. See you, Staff. So I'm not seeing any wind, so it looks like we can go in on 1-0 at, uh, at Topo N-Z-A-P, N-Zap. Oh, yeah, 1-0. Okay, yep. Or is it N-Z-A-P? I think that's how, how it's pronounced, the Z sometimes. Is it Z? I think it's Z. Z is correct. Yep, yep. Yep. <clears throat> Flock, should we call this the bagel run? The bagel run, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Did Copper Hat put it down over there? Or no, it looks like he's still in the air. Okay. Yeah, he's following. Okay, low level flight right over this peninsula. There we go, sharing your view there, Treetop. If people didn't know better, they would think this was your stream. It looks like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, this way I can go on vacation. Yeah. Oh, that'd be a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> and Splasher and I'd have to figure it out. We do next. <laughs> I don't know how we'd miss her up. Oh, we can't live without Johnny Carson. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Well, the sound effects yeah. on this plane are just amazing. Oh man, I got to get that. I keep yeah. telling you I'm going to do it. <laughs> Could do that today, but that isn't a marketplace, though, right? That was third party. I think. I don't know i think it's in the marketplace now oh sweet i think well, it is but but um if i remember right and i you'd have to check and make sure but if i remember right if you get it from the marketplace you didn't you don't get these extra liveries and stuff that come with it yeah oh um but if you get it directly from that from them i think it's got friends got friends yeah um they have a website now then you get you get like I don't know, six or nine, maybe six or seven liveries. And mm -hmm. some of the liveries, the interior, because this is a, it's made in Poland. And they have a Polish variant where all the language and everything in the cockpit is in Polish. And then they have some uh, other variants that are uh, in English uh, in the cockpit, you know. Um, and they have a higher horsepower variant. They have a float variant. Um, that I all see. come. That all come with it. Will um, Will chat allow me to post the link to Got Friends? Um. I want to say yes. It will. Yeah, I'll it will. It. Yeah, you're fly then. You, you subscribe and. Okay. I should make you a moderator also. Yep, looks like it took it. Yep, cool. Yeah, Thanks for that. the link. Yep. Now we're back at that airport quicker than I thought. Jeez. Yeah, that's kind of a recurring theme for me today. The morning came quicker than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the river run ended quicker than I thought, and now this uh, airport's coming up quicker than you thought. Yeah. I'm glad I wasn't, I mean, for the wrong reasons, but I'm glad I wasn't awake last night when you went down the street. I would have went with you. <laughs> I'm paying for it right now. All right. Uh, 
Okay, looks like it's on the outskirts of town here. Over this away. <laughs> Mish is asking for the rest of us, uh, Treetop. What, how does it feel to be ahead of the game and not and not in and, and uh, you know not not give in to something like that? Well, yes. well, the, you know, I'm we're paying. Some of us are paying the price, but you're ahead of the game. Yes. I, well, I wish I could say it's willpower, but it, you know, but it was more like sleep power. I missed the. I I missed out. Uh, where is this thing? I should be. Oh, there. I see a light. Still too far out here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of overshot it. It looks like. Yep. Hey, notch of flaps. Tree tops lined up. Uh, there we go. Right there. Okay. Oh, uh, grass field. Okay. Perfect. Looks like. Looks like the other one might be paved, but it doesn't matter. Or, I don't know, maybe that... <laughs> I guess it is a concrete field, but I'm landing on the grass. Apparently I misjudged that. I'm a little high. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crab it in here. Yeah, it is concrete. I just... You know, it's a bush plane, so I chose the grass. Oh yeah, I see the little marker right there, one zero. Stall alarms going off and just touched down. That might have been a three pointer. Wow. Way to stick it. Right? That's, yeah. <laughs> you look really high as on the approach, but dropped like a rock. Yeah, I was crabbing her in and just I'll just taxi over the FBO here. There's a copper hat over there. Can't end the stream without taxiing over the FBO. Field base operations, right? I believe so. Or sometimes it might be fixed base Ooh. operations. Oh, fixed base. These flasher, we're on-air trainees, so that's what we're doing here, <laughs> part of our training routine. Cadets in training. There you go. And cop rats over there, okay. My sim is framing on me this morning for some reason. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Had a fresh start and everything. It, yeah. I didn't leave the laptop on or anything. And I did. I did notice I'm getting some framing. Those flasher. When you go on the road, then you just take your laptop with you, and if yeah. you got a good Wi-Fi connect, you can at least watch. Yeah, most of the time I do. Yeah, my my laptop's not. Not enough horsepower to run the sim. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, Mish says now, if, now only if the FBO had good bagels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something tells me I think it's going to. Yeah. Yeah. It will. Yeah. yeah they're they're good. Yeah, uh, you're right. I like to get the everything bagel and then uh, blueberry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not much, Papa Mish, outside the sim. In fact, you know, we've been complaining about it for some time now. If if Flox and I could get galley service into our into our flying station here, we we leave flight sim a lot less. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't, I don't see that coming to fruition. No. Oh, let me get over there where you guys are. Oh, I went right by you. That's right. Now, if I could just write code, I'd come up with compressor service tech sim. 
Oh yeah, hey. And I'd then have we it could made. all Oh yeah. We right. could all learn we could all learn how to do what you do. Yeah. <laughs> and you could work out of the home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, big stretch. Oh, that felt good. Oh. Yeah, I like that little uh, Easter egg that Gruninsky put in Treetop Flyers uh, uh, airport there in the uh, hangar. has an air compressor in there, and then we made a little graphic on there. Uh, yes. splash, Splasher 6, you know, like it's a service price, oh, yeah. Splasher 6, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah awesome. service sticker. Yeah, with the yeah. date, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and then uh, Splasher's compressor service. I need, yeah. to, I need to fly up there. It's a, uh, it's uh, sending me a uh, notification <laughs> on my phone that it needs to be serviced. There yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. A little preventative maintenance. Mm-hmm. Let's oh, see good stuff. Let me get it. Get a drone shot. See if I can get the the lake in the background back there. Zoom in a little bit. Nice. All right, very cool. All right, perfect. We will look for somebody to raid. Um, I'll get let me get the the music queued up so it's going when the credits start rolling. Let's see here. Hey, maybe we'll beat Porter this morning if he's still going. Oh yeah, it could be. Let's see. Uh, Mish says. Uh, Need a little. We under, understand. We need a little sim outside the sim too. Not much. Just a little. Yeah, just enough. <laughs> I'm trying to get a hold of you regarding your planes <laughs> yeah. extended warranty. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Oh, yeah. That'll be the next one. There'll be a plane flying across the uh, across the airport with a with a banner off the back. Hey, you. Yeah, I mean you. Yeah, we're talking to you. Your car's going to fail. <laughs> and compressor service. <laughs> yeah. Act now and avoid disaster later. Yes. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, God. All right, guys. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for jumping on with us uh, uh, this morning, Splasher. All, all, as always, a pleasure. Kindly. Been a wonderful two years. Nice, thank yeah, you. As that time flies, it's just amazing. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see here. Let me get, let me take a look at the activity here. Um, we got a follow from Sammy Ten. Go ahead, Tree. I was just gonna say, and thanks to everyone. But you're already doing doing that, so I just told your thunder. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, just wanted to thank uh, Sammy Ten for the follow and uh, Icebird for all for the idea of flying over New Zealand and uh, joining us in chat this morning. Splasher 6 with the resubscribe. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, DH Paradox was with us uh, this morning in chat and doing some sound effects. And Sideways Schizo uh, uh, followed us this morning. And it looks like uh, Lister Spy followed two days ago. Uh, maybe heard about us from so- somebody else this stream. Um, along with Lap Trendent Hoy. Oh, well, there's a couple of them from two days ago. Uh, Lloyd Dove, Chris, Antisius, Proper. Boy, I wonder if those are bots. Those look like they might be like a bot raid thing. Yeah, they are. Look, two days ago, there's a whole bunch of them. Those are bots. You know what? I uh, I got I got hit with a bot raid the other day, and I don't know. It was like a hundred or 50 or 100 of them right and so wow. i went in and and i banned them all and everything and wow. it's like how, how do you get rid of them right and i found a link um and i can share it with you guys in discord i found a link to a a, a site uh, a website that will inter- interface with your twitch account right you got to authorize it but it it knows all the bots and so it goes in there oh. and in mass identifies them and you can remove them ban ban and delete them right wow so i did that well guess what more bots i used to be at 500 followers 
it put me down to 490 or something like that because i had some oh. other bots that were still in there that i didn't know you know it's funny i i was just scrolling down to see where your numbers were and i was thinking to myself didn't you just pass 500 like two yeah. three weeks ago yep i yep. just noticed that i'll be done now we got to get them back over 500 oh wow but i'm yeah, glad we got it cleaned up yes yeah that's uh that'll be good because i just passed 400 and i bet <laughs> it'll knock me back uh, i'll share that link i'll share that link with you so you can see it and, and check yeah, it out that, appreciate that and papa mish will see you uh tonight uh around seven ish and uh, explore that race course looking forward to that yeah it'll be fun yep maybe even put the vr on make it fun so yeah looking forward to that all right guys let's go raid and uh once again, thanks for joining us here at the hangar. We'll keep the hangar doors cracked open for everybody. Treetop, thanks for being a great co-host, great neighbor, and a great friend. Uh, Splasher, thanks again for joining us uh, on Voice today. Thanks, all. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks, we'll Splasher. Thanks, Flox. Back at you. All right, we'll see you. Bye.